just just think of some of those games against some other option teams, like Colton Hegel had some big tackle games. So far, Grimsley has been in on a few, and now he rolls down into the box. Jenkins, pitch outside. There's some room to the outside. And a first down again for Cal Poly. They continue to convert here on third down on this drive as Brock Mortensen picks it up. I think it was James Hendricks that lost the outside contain. Nodak Insurance Company replay as this one comes at you. You make the read, you get the pitch. Yes, the block. Number six inside got pinned. Allison's trying to do as much as he can to keep the play inside the first half, or excuse me, the first down. Certainly respected by their peers as well. Third and long. Worst position for the Mustangs. Inside handoff again at pro throw. Tough guy to bring down. Pretty good chunk of yardage there to get down to the 33-yard line. Grimsley, another tackle. Fourth and about six. Nodak Insurance Company replay. Hand it off to your big man up the middle. Gets through Butler. And then this title also getting rolled pretty hard. Nice job down the field by the offensive center, Harry Whitson. He moved from guard to the center position. But that run, allowing the Mustangs an opportunity to score. 50-yard field goal attempt here for Sibley. On target. If it's long enough, it's good, and it is. 50 yards for Sublet. His previous long 43, that is a new career long for the senior, and Cal Poly is on the board with 4.09 to go. Another third and long here for Cal Poly. The Mustangs have been in this situation quite a few times here this afternoon. Jenkins to throw. Has time airing it out one-on-one -on -one for Koski. He's got it. Inside buys and territory down to the 35-yard line. James Hendricks makes the tackle for North Dakota State. A lot of success with that pass play. Just one-on-one -on -one deep down the field. You see Hendricks, the free safety, getting sucked all over to the near side. There is no deep middle safety. Koski makes the catch. Hendricks a little bit too far back there. Three touchdowns last year caught the longest 60. There's the biggest play of the game for the Mustang. Peterson, another kickoff. And again, it's Mortensen from the goal line. This time he's got some room. Mortensen hit by Jalen Allison at the 30-yard line. A flag comes in late. I think it's Jake Smeltzer with a block in the back on the man who made the tackle. That's what I saw. Nodak Insurance Company replay. Check out the end of this. You'll see number 11 getting in the back of number 21. Right there on your screen, right along the hash mark. Boom, a little push. Right into the man carrying the ball. Flag. Forward, he can play both outside linebacker spots. We're going to be able to have some fun with number 42 this season. Jeffrey fires, and it's complete. First down for Cal Poly. Trey Green making the reception and getting up to the 48-yard line. To number 24, Trey Green. Robert Grimsley in the stop. Grimsley making First another tackle. He's been so involved in the run game. Nodak Insurance Company replay. See where Grimsley goes. He floats in. He's thinking quarterback run. Nope, here comes the pass. He's got to get back, try to make the tackle. Make. Open receiver is Campbell. Well thrown football that time by Jake Jeffrey. And a first down inside by the territory to the 47. We talked earlier on a kickoff return how Campbell's the fastest man on the team and he got a little bit of an iso here on a linebacker. Beats the speed. Wimbush is the safety playing uh, you know, deep, obviously. Brooks, they have lost the football there for a minute. I think it's still loose and Cal Poly claiming they have it. So, I, I saw a beanbag come flying in there. When the official throws that, then that means he sees the ball come out. And recovering that fumble was Matt Shotwell. The loss of possession recovered by the defense. And First Shotwell down. comes to the football family. His brother Kyle played at Cal Poly and won the Buck Buchanan Award back in 2006. What's interesting about that is Kyle was the third straight Cal Poly player to win the Buck Buchanan Award. 